is Grant Holcomb in a caucus in the country. Right now, the California delegation is deciding whether or not to rescind the action that it took earlier in voting unanimously to support the Lehman Amendment, which will be offered this evening on the civil rights program. Now, what happened is this. Congressman John Moss, one of California's representatives to the platform committee, made a strong appeal before the members of the California delegation to accept the party platform as it was voted this morning. Congressman Moss just left a few moments ago. The caucus is underway. Let's listen to uh, right now. This is uh, Mr. Paul Ziffrin, the California National Committeeman. He's conferring with the chairman of the meeting for the moment. In just a moment, we'll hear from one of the members of the Democratic uh, National Party. This caucus is the third in a series of caucuses that the California delegation called this evening. The first one was at 5.30. Let's listen. Mitchell, the former chairman of the National Committee, has agreed to come here to explain the full background of this, to answer any questions uh, that you would see fair fit to put to him at this particular time. Mr. Steve Mitchell, the former chairman of the National Committee. I hope I can... I hope I can be as simple. Can you hear me? This, that works. I've been out of politics a while. I don't know how to use these. I hope I can be of some help to you and to respond to the request of your committee man for since uh, almost 10 days an honest and I think persevering effort has been made to find agreement of directly conflicting views about a subject that affects a lot of human beings and affects the country as a whole as well as our party. I say, in short, we have done our best for the past 10 days, people on the north and south, members of the drafting committee of the platform committee, to work out a composition of conflicting views. Agreement was reached among those people acting in good faith, and that agreement wasn't really satisfactory to either side in all respects. But agreement was reached, and these people are now disturbed, and as everyone in the country is, that there should be a further difference and an attempt to settle it under conditions much more difficult even than those that uh, affected the platform drafters. Now, the majority, the majority plank uh, that has been reported here is being considered again at the suggestion of those who have made the proposal for a minority report. Whether they come to some agreement, I don't know. I came down here because I told you I would a little while ago. I hope very much, I doubt very much, that there will be any agreement for a further revision. I don't see how it's possible to do that under the difficult conditions that exist. I hope very much that the majority report will be adopted and that we may avoid a serious difference on, uh, in dividing on whether the minority report is adopted. I am assured by the chairman of the Illinois delegation, Mayor Daley, that we in Illinois will be urged to follow the line taken by Congressman William Dawson of the state of Illinois, who was a member of the drafting committee and a member of the the full committee, which recommended the majority uh, report. I would recommend that we, that you, instead of attempting to make, get more than information in this hot room under these conditions, that you would wait a little while and see what result, if any, comes from these further 
efforts to compose the problem. Thank you. That was Stephen Mitchell, the former Democratic National Chairman. Now again, Glenn Anderson. Mr. has a question. Mr. Mitchell, can you hold it just a second? Mr. Wyatt? My question is this. Does this mean that something is going on now, which Mr. Snyder had told us earlier, did not go on? In other words, there is a, an actual committee of the Platform Committee meeting to revise the draft? I, I haven't any idea what Mrs. Snyder told you earlier. I do know that there has been, naturally, a very serious concern, concern about very serious concern about uh, these questions that you've raised. And uh, I don't know, there's no formal composition of a group excepting, I saw, a number of the people who have been working together here for these past uh, two weeks or ten days to at least understand what these proposals were. Mrs. Snyder is one of California's representatives. It's woman representative on uh, the platform committee. She's in favor of the Lehman amendments. Do you feel that we are taking a weaker position on civil rights this year than was taken in 1952? The question that was asked me was whether I feel in my personal opinion we are taking a weaker position in the majority plank than we took in 52. Is that your question? My personal opinion is that we are taking a stronger position under more intense examination by the fullest expression of views I ever heard among reasonable men who went to the limit of their patience with each other. Uh, I, I would call your attention to the fact that in my mind, what you are talking about here is whether you're going to say twice what this uh, plank says already. We, the, it's verbatim, uh, the first two paragraphs of the 52 plank is this plank. The third portion merely brings you down to date. And many, many people have forgotten. You don't have to declare or say what the Supreme Court has already said. And the second issue is, are you going to make a, a matter of this kind, uh, a, a matter of dispute and risk the damage to each other uh, rather than an advancement and a preservation of a good relationship among people who differ honestly? Well, it's just because of the fact that uh, Senator Douglas was in here a little while ago, and he seemed to think it was a weaker position. And in the 17th Congressional District in California, this is a very important uh, problem and issue, and I just want to get your views on it. Thank you very much. Well, I have the greatest respect for Senator Douglas, and we are colleagues, and uh, we seldom differ, but we have. And that is the best opinion I have. I tell you further that uh, it, it represents a perfectly enormous and persistent effort. I hope very much we will go with that majority report. I think we better, I think we better wind this up now. I have two more people who want to talk on this, Senator George Miller and Senator Richard Richard. I think following that, we can probably get enough information to get back in the meeting. From the California this delegation. time, I'd like to give it Senator George Miller. California State Senator George Miller, former chairman last year, four years ago, of the Key Power well, delegation. So far in this convention, I've been acting as the lawyer or the parliamentarian for the chairman, the sort of a political eunuch. But after hearing some of the words that I heard here tonight, I want strongly f to express myself. I'm not very much impressed with the information that was just given us by the former chairman of the National Committee. Any more than I was impressed two years ago when the same kind of information cost me a congressman in my district. And I'm also filled up with hearing all this stuff about 
this plank will get you so many votes, and this plank will get you that many votes, and this will alienate these, and this will alienate that. There's only one issue involved, and it's a moral issue. And I'm tired of hearing it referred to in terms of international politics or in vote getting for either party. The issue involved here is a moral issue. It stems from whether or not you believe in the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. And if you do, you believe that all men are equal. And you're going to do everything that you can to create and implement the day when we'll see that equality as a living thing. That's all I have to say. That was State Senator George Miller of California. Senator Miller was the chairman of the Kefauver delegation four years ago to this convention. Richard Richards, the next United States Senator from California. Richard Richards. Thank you very much. There is some later information that I believe has arrived that would be of interest to our delegation. In the first place, it's my understanding that Pennsylvania has just had a similar caucus such as this, following an earlier one like we did when we took our position. Pennsylvania reaffirmed its original position. That is the information that reached me. Additionally, I want to make it very clear, since uh, there is some misunderstanding that's apparent, obviously, on the floor and in the caucus. There is no one that's looking for a floor fight or a fight of any kind. If this can be settled, fine. Our own chairman, Pat Brown, is now engaged in efforts to try and reach some sort of settlement. The facts are that if it can be settled in the interest of clarifying language so that we have a sensible and a sane platform that states exactly where we know our party does state, and does stand, we are not going to fight about it, we're going to be glad to accept it. That clarification has not yet appeared on the floor. That clarification is being sought now. If it is reached without a fight, I am delighted and I know you are delighted. All that th this uh, delegation did is to make eminently clear that we have a set of beliefs of our own which we truly believe are the majority thoughts of this delegation and of this convention. We want those beliefs to be in the platform. Clarification is on its way by one road or another, by settlement, by negotiation, by amendment, or lastly, by a floor fight. Arrangements are being carried on in every one of these fields, and the floor fight would be the last one. I would close, Mr. Chairman, by merely saying that as the chairman of the delegation stated before, there is no motion before this committee at this time. We have taken our position. We have heard only one dissenting vote from within the delegation in respect to that, that position. Only one. I therefore propose at this time that we return to the floor, hold our peace, and make ready to make our position clear when the time comes. And that was California State Senator Richard Richards. Richard Richards, incidentally, is running for United States Senator against the Republican incumbent from California, Senator Tom Kekel. One question, Senator Richards. If it comes to a floor fight, there was some information earlier in the evening that you were going to uh, do a uh, seconding uh, motion for a roll call vote. Is that correct? It is my understanding that I would be one of the six to conduct a floor fight on the floor in the event it reaches that unhappy situation. I am glad to conduct that fight in the interest of what I believe and what I am sure my own delegation